Hey Canucks fans, it is Canucks game day. It is Vancouver, it is Toronto, it is hockey night in Canada. I can't watch, but let's break it down anyways. I am Canuck Clay, and this is my Canucks take all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Saturday, March the 5th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. We're just a few subscribers away from 8,700. Let's see if we can hit that this weekend. Speaking of this weekend, as you know, it's event weekend for me, so pretty darn busy. That's why I'm in the middle of uh, transporting people to and from the hotel. So a very quick check-in. Can't watch the game today because we'll be at the event, but you know I'll be catching up on it later. And I will trust you here on YouTube to let me know how things go tonight for the Canucks. And don't forget, today's Saturday. That means tomorrow's Sunday. That means tomorrow is my Ask Me Anything vlog. So make sure you head over to my community tab and ask me a question for my Ask Me Anything vlog that I will record indeed tomorrow. Okay, tonight, Canucks Maple Leafs. The Canucks beat Toronto 3-2 to just a few weeks ago at Rogers Arena in a game that Toronto dominated for sure, especially the second and third periods. Canucks got off to a fast start, two goals in the first, and they hung on for a 3-2 victory. So you can tell, you, you know, you can just anticipate that tonight Toronto will come out hungry, wanting revenge, on home ice, all those good things. So this is how the Canucks will line up tonight. It is Miller- with Pearson and Besser on the top line. Miller, Pearson, and Besser. Your second line is Pedersen with Hoglander and Garland. Love the look of that line. Third line of Horvat, Parkosen, and Chason, a bit of a heavier line. And of course, our favorite line of Mott, Lamico, and Highmore. I anticipate no change on D. OEL with Myers, Hughes with Shen, and then Hunt with Hamannick. That means Bowie is the extra defenseman. That means right now, Phil DiGiuseppe is the extra forward. Pullman and Dickinson still out with injuries. Thatcher Demko in net. So that's how the Canucks will line up. I, I've talked about this look of these lines. I, I think they're fine, especially you want to get Bester going, get him with Miller, although I'd love to see him play with Petey. But I like Petey and Garland together, and you have one of Hug, Huglander or Pod Colson with them all the time. It's Huglander tonight. And that Pod Colson chased on Horvat line. Don't need them to score, but you do need them to play big. Do need them to play some good defense. And uh, Chase on is a big body that does create space around the net. And then we know how hard that Mott, Lamico, and Heimer, how hard they've been working and how well they've been playing over the past month. So that's how, when you look at Toronto, obviously they have a lot of offensive firepower, whether it is Matthews or Marner or Nylander or the rookie sensation Bunting. There are a lot of good players up front. You know, near the bottom end of the lineup, they've got some older guys. They're, they're just okay. And then on defense, they're, they're kind of inconsistent, um, um, led by Riley and Musson, of course. And then uh, goaltender, speaking of inconsistency, is it going to be Campbell? Is it going to be Rasik? Is it going to be someone else that can stop the puck? Who knows? So I'm actually predicting a higher scoring game today. I'm going Canucks 5-3. I'm going Canucks 5-3 with Brock Besser scoring first, getting breaking out of his little mini slump. So Brock Besser, first goal, Canucks to win. 5-3. So make sure you leave your score prediction down below as well as your prediction for the first Canucks goal scorer. One other thing, I, I talked about the Toronto the market last last month when I previewed that February game. I talked about why do Canucks fans hate Toronto? Do they hate the team? Do they hate the city? Do they, do they hate the media coverage? Mostly it's the media coverage. But I think I want to spend a couple minutes just talking about the, the playoff race. And I vlogged about it yesterday. I hope I didn't make you too dizzy walking around the, my workplace with, with that vlog. But I talked about how the Canucks are, are ahead of their pace to go 6-6-7 six, six, in points percentage. And that was based though independently of other teams performing. That was based on getting the Canucks to 94 points. It's crazy though. We've seen every team around them picking up points and winning. Dallas, um, Anaheim, Winnipeg, even San Jose below the Canucks, and of course Edmonton. And what's crazy is the wildcard teams have been flip-flopping depending on who's winning. So Dallas and Nashville and Vegas and Edmonton, they've all been wildcard spots in the last in the last week or so. So we only know that, the uh, whether you call them locks, we know that Colorado and Minnesota and St. Louis are prime locks in the central, and then likely Calgary and LA because you have Vegas, Edmonton, Dallas and Mini have been the four that are flipping around the two wildcard spots and then Vancouver and Anaheim right below them and Winnipeg and San Jose. So there's still, I'd say, eight teams fighting for those two, well, well and, a, and a spot, eight teams fighting for three spots really. And as, as well as the Canucks being playing, they still need other teams to start losing a little bit. Otherwise, that, 
that 94 point bar might move up to 96 or 97. We'll see. It means another win or two that the Canucks have to achieve. But ultimately, you guys know this, the Canucks just got to worry about themselves and make sure that they win tonight. I don't want to put too much stock in tonight's game, but if you lose tonight, I think that puts you in a pretty tough position going forward. Yes, it doesn't mean that the Canucks have to win every single game, every single game of their final 26 games or whatever, but they do, uh, they can't, I guess they can and they can't. They shouldn't lose tonight, uh, I guess is my point, if they want to keep it with this pace and with, with keep up with the rest of the teams that they are indeed chasing. So that's all I got for now. Got to get back to the, to the venue. So let me know your score prediction. Let me know your first Canucks goal scorer. Shout out to my sponsors, Perform and Transform, Personal Training and Weight Loss. Sign up now for a free seven-day trial. Use the link in my video descriptions. And Advanced City Experts Real Estate Group. Contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. Thank you to legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Justin Credible, legendary Andrew Chang, hero member, Nux fan number 29, Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sam Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Brufield, Shannon Hollingworth, HSM Fangirl Gaming, Smooth Groove, and Carol Bovenlander. Thank you for your support as always, and thanks for the support of all members of all levels. You're listed in my video descriptions. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this or my videos on the memberships tab on my YouTube channel. Okay, friends, subscribe if you'd like to, like this video if you'd like to, Become a member, upgrade your life. If you, or be, I'm getting so excited, I gotta get going. Become a member, upgrade if you like to, and leave a comment down below if you like to. Score prediction: First Canucks goal score. I'm going Vancouver five three with Brock Besser lighting the lamp first. Enjoy the game, friends. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Wish me luck in my event today, and go to my community tab and leave a post there, a question there for my Ask Me Anything vlog tomorrow. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. I think I just said that. God bless and. Go Canucks go.